Now this 6-8 build could do a little bit of everything and still get contact dunks. So I do recommend this build, you making this build at the shooting guard or small forward. You could go point guard if you want, but that's just what I recommend. Now you want to go 6-8, 219 on the weight so you get the 84 strength, which will get you silver and movable enforcer and a Hall of Fame physical handles. And it will also get you silver bulldozer just to name a few badges. And then you want to max out the wingspan. Now our close shot is only a 54 enough said there now our driving layup is only a 70 and usually i do go higher on driving layup but i had to swap something out because the driving dunk is so expensive so a 70 driving layup is cool if you activate slash and take it'll be 80 you still get your gold pro touch you still get a layup package i think you get zion williamson's and a few others i'm pretty sure but i mean is a 70 driving layup good? That's okay. I do have it on a few other builds, but if you want to put it higher, I honestly wouldn't blame you. But our driving dunk is a 90, and that will get you both the pro contact dunks off one and two. It will also get you the pro alley oop contact dunks, and it will get you a lot of dunk packages. And you also get gold precision dunker, Hall of Fame two step, and gold bunny, and silver slithery, just to name a few badges. So if you like dunking, hey here you go so some of you guys like dunking which i don't blame you because getting contact dunks is pretty fun in 2k but this year it's just a little weird it's kind of harder than it was last year and previous years but anyways moving on to our standing dunk you want to put it up to a 45 and that will get you both the normal or regular contact dunks with the two hand ones and the one hand ones now for a post control i did not touch it if you want to put it up go ahead I think post control is a nice attribute to have. You do get a lot of badges and you get a lot of different options to score. But anyways, mid-range shot is an 84. You want to bump that up because you get you get better jump shots for one. And bro, you I'm telling you for mid-range, most of you guys know this, but mid-range is so OP, bro. You do that midi fade, it's going in nine times out of ten. And you also get midi magician on gold which i think i mentioned catch and shoot on gold blinder silver dead eye silver green machine silver and space creator silver so you're definitely going to be able to shoot and you also get a 78 three ball and now for a free throw you want to put it up <clears throat> excuse me to a 76 for all my rec and pro in players so that way when you get fouled you're not going to miss you just put on stephen curry you ain't going to miss now moving on to our pass accuracy it's decent a 77 pass accuracy will definitely get it done. I do always rock out with a 75, so and it's it's pretty much fine. But if you want to go higher on this, you're going to have to make some adjustments. You can easily go higher on it if you drop this uh, driving dunk a little bit. But again, then that just kind of takes away the purpose of this video. But hey, it's your build, so you can do whatever you want. Now for the ball handle, you want to go up to an 85, and that will get you some decent, some pretty good solid packages. You'll be able to get the Jamal Murray behind the back and um, a few other stuff. But you'll be able to get blow by silver, unpluckable silver, physical handles, Holly, and speed booster on silver. So you'll definitely be able to cook up. And then you want to put your speed ball to a 75, which will definitely get you some pretty good dribble styles. You, all, you also get pro dribble style off rip because you are a shooting guard. So that is nice to have. Now... Our interior defense is a 61. We are going to be getting anchor on bronze on this build because we are we are tall, bro. We might as well be able to get a block here and there. Now, perimeter defense, I'm going to put it to an 85. That will get you silver clamps. And if you want to put it to an 87, that does get you gold challenger. But again, I just did not have enough points. So that is up to you if you want to make that adjustment or not. But our steel is an 81. And bronze glove is cool. Right stick ripper is cool, and bronze too, but interceptor, you want to be able to catch the ball because you're kind of like a two-way player on this build, but you could definitely go higher on the steel if you wanted to. You're just gonna have, you're just gonna probably have to drop the driving dunk. Now, our block is a 78, and that will get you silver chase down artist and silver anchor, or I'm sorry, bronze anchor, which definitely bronze anchor, or you could get busy with bronze anchor, just. Just keep that in mind. I have I have bronze anchor on a few of my builds and it is pretty good. Now 
I did not touch this, and I did not touch this. But honestly, if you want a rebounding, I wouldn't blame you. Go ahead. But again, I just did not have enough points to spare. Now, 81 on the speed, so we get that silver speed booster. 73 on the acceleration, so we can get blow by on silver and fast feet on silver. That way, you know, this helps us pretty much stay stays in front of the ball handler. And it, it's a pretty good badge, honestly. So I do recommend having it on at least silver on a build like this. Now, our strength is an 84. And I'm telling you, bro, having a high strength on a guard is just so useful, especially considering you can get physical handles and move bone forcer that'll help you on defense. And you also get bulldozer. So when you drive to the paint, you get to shove people out the way. And then you want to go 78 on the vertical because you're going to need that to unlock both the pro contact dunks off one and two. So do keep that in mind. Now we have the 95 stamina just to top it off. I did mess up on the build a little bit. Just drop this down to a 40. That way you can upgrade the stamina. But this is pretty much the build. Am I a fan of this build? Eh, it's okay. I mean, bro, for contact dunks, like you're sacrificing a lot more you could do with this build, honestly. But some of you guys might not care about rebounding or the pass accuracy. I mean, the pass accuracy is pretty decent enough. for, And you could definitely shoot with this build for you being 6'8", max wingspan. So, and you still get you still get the standing dunks. Your, your layup is just the only thing that's kind of really lacking. As well as maybe the steal and the rebounding. Honestly, I would like a little bit more defensive rebounding considering you are 6'8", which is pretty tall. But... I'm just going to show you real quick, like if you want to, bro, if you could drop the dunk all the way down to like a 40, to, like, and just have an okay vertical, like a 75 vertical, that way you still can get chase down artists and stuff, look how much points you have left to work with, then you could drop this down to a 71, maybe this to a 75 if you wanted to, and then look, you, you got a 90, 96 steal, bro, a 96 steal, that's how... I'm, I'm telling y'all, bro, dunking is expensive in this game. Like, it's just, it's crazy. And then, look, you can even get this. Bro, you can get a 91, a, a 40 all the way to a 91, bro. And you still have points left over to work with. Just think about that. But, again, some of you guys like the dunking, which I do too. But sometimes you just, you got to take a hit somewhere. But, hey, we get that 90 dunk. And then... We get the 78 vertical, and then we get that 76 free throw. We are shades of J.R. Smith, Devin Vassell, and Zante Murray. So I guess, I mean, New York Knicks J.R. Smith was a demon, but you have built a three-level threat. So it's an all right name in my opinion, bro, but I just, I don't, it's okay. But this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys really enjoy your day. Again, please like the video. Also sub to the channel if you're new. That'll greatly help me out, and I'll greatly appreciate it. Remember, always stay positive, always stay on your grind, and peace.